Hello, Kylie. Hello, and Rosie. On we the Bouncing Bear, the Bouncing Bear's new baby. By Stan and Gam Bouncing. Down, yeah, down a sunny dirt road over a log bridge up a grassy hill deep in bear country lives a, lives a family of bears, papa bear, water bear, and small bear. They live in a large tree which papa had hollowed out and made into a house. It, it was a very fine house. This is what it looked like inside. It was fun growing up in Bear Country. Helping Papa get honey from the old bee tree. Helping Mama bring the vegetable in from the garden. There were all sorts of interesting things for a small bear to do and see in bear country. Small bear felt good growing up in a tree in his own room in the snug little bed that Papa had made for him when he was a boy, when he was a baby. But one morning, it did not feel so good. Small Bear woke up with pain in his knees and ache in his legs. Small Bear, you have outgrown a little bit, said Papa Bear, as he hinged up his overalls and buttoned his shoulder straps. Today we shall go out into the woods and make you a big old one. With that, he ate his breakfast of piping hot porridge, washed down with a gulp of honey from the family honey pot took up his axe and was out the door. The papa called Small Bear, crying, what will happen to my little bed? Don't worry about that, Small Bear, said Mama Bear, as she closed the door after him. She smiled and patted her front, which had Lately grown very big and round. You are grown the snug little bed just in time. What will happen to my little bed, small bear? asked as he caught up with Papa Bear, but Papa was sharpening his axe on his grinding stone and didn't heal. Yes, indeed, said Papa Bear. You need a bed and you can stretch out and and a bed that will not will not give you pains in your knees and aches in your legs. He tested the axe to see if it was sharp, then head off into the woods. What would happen to my little bed, small bear asked again, and he caught up with Papa Bear in the woods. Papa had chopped down a tree and was spinning it into cords. We will have a new bed soon. Who will need who will need the little bed? said Papa Bear as he wrapped off the little board. A new baby, asked Small Bear. He had noticed that Mom Bear had grown very round lately, although he 
Chad knows it was hard and hard to sit on her lap. And it's coming soon. Yes, very soon, said Papa Bear. We found that he split off the last wall, which gave him enough wood to make a bigger bed for Swan Bear. They made the bed a good size and took the rest of the day to kip and shave it smooth and neat. Then they carried it back to the tree and up to small bell rails then. When they got there, small bell noticed right away that his old bed wasn't there anymore. My little Red says Mom Bear, it's already gone. We gotta go and get some time, called Mom Bear for the next man. Come and see. It was true. There was his little snug little bed with a new little baby in it. Small Bear had outgrown his snug little bed just in time for his new baby sister. And now he was a big bubble. She was very little, but very lively. As small as small bear leaned over for a close look, she popped him right on the nose with a tiny fist. Hmm, said small bear. She had a pretty good pup for a little baby. That night, he stretched out Kali in his big old bed. Ah, uh, he said. Then being a big bell is going to be fun. The next morning he woke up feeling fine, with no pain in his knees or aches in his legs. His nose was a little tender though. The end. And good night.